think it's been a couple of weeks since my last video. I hope you're all keeping well. Trying a new experimental angle out. Uh, new camera. 2.7k the first part of this video. So we'll see how it goes uh, when I edit it. Got a gun here to review. I've got it fairly cheap. So anything I say that's negative about it. Um, I got it cheap. So I'm quite happy. It gave me an excuse to do another video review of a gun. I've yet to shoot it since I've uh, I've had it about three days I believe now but um, thanks very much Adam you gave it me for a very good price and um, regardless to how it shoots how it looks and everything else despite the fact that it's gonna sound a bit negative what I'm gonna say at the moment um, it's not it's just being honest it's got possibly it's uh, first of all it says on it Edgar Brothers, I'll put a picture up on the screen. Edgar Brothers Model 60S. Just make sure I'm correct on this. Model dot 60S. Edgar Brothers, I believe it's a hat sound. 22 calibre. So it's a 5.5 millimeter. I've got a tin of pellets with it. I think they're Diana pellets. Um, Adam said that that's what the guy in the shop told him it shoots now. I don't know any history of this gun and as to yet I've not put a pellet through it I, I have cocked it well, I, have, I have half cocked it and when I did that the back end of the uh, the action here was coming up up and down as you as you if you broke the barrel and pulled the barrel down the back end of the gun was coming up found that to be a screw under near under here behind the trigger was loose so I did that up rectified that problem so at the moment it's never had a, a pellet through it I've never shot it um, it's got a Nico Sterling gold crown 4x40 wide angle lens on it lens scope telescope telescope telescopic sight should I say not one you could use at any distance because it's only got the simple crosshairs there's no uh, there's no markings no marks whatsoever to judge your hold under or hold over so uh, basically you set the scope at a distance you're going to shoot at and then after that it's all guesswork if you decide to alter your distance you're going to shoot before or after the target because there's no corresponding marks but uh, not a problem I've got spare scopes knocking about probably of all the guns that I've ever seen in my entire life this gets the gold medal for the worst. <laughs> I don't. You're probably not going to pick it up on this video because I've, I'm doing a bit of experimental lighting. Very bright day outside at the moment, and I don't want to open my door because I've had two wasps in here already today. Um, what is it? First of June today, by the way. So um, this would win it an award for the worst ever that I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, the varnish on the stock is the worst that I've ever seen but I do believe it's hiding some nice wood under there now I'm not sure if it's beech or Turkish walnut I haven't got a clue I've got a, I've got a sneaky suspicion that it's probably beech maybe a light color so this gives me a chance for another another video a comparison test from from the woodwork on this thing I'll put some pictures up while I'm talking and you I'll put some pictures up here and you can see how bad I'm quite sure if you took a tin of varnish uh, into a school and a paintbrush and gave it to a little kiddie they would do a better job that's not an exaggeration it's the worst I said to Adam when I saw it I said have you varnished that and he said no that's how I got it I can't believe Hatsan or the Edgar brothers would release a gun uh, what's so poor lovely and shiny but loads and loads of little air, air spots or dust spots uh, big ripples down this way big ripples down that way like I said I'll, I'll put the pictures up while I'm talking you're probably looking at them now I should imagine but uh, the blue in or the black in it's not the best I've ever seen but it but but the actual metal work on the gun is very good so there is some hope there But as the gun shoots, or how, how good it shoots, um, or what power the gun has, we, we will find this out. So 
So I'll get my pellets and uh, I'll rig up my uh, my cheap crony. But it's maybe cheap, but it seems fairly accurate accurate um, against my friend's blends. It's somewhere somewhere in the bulk or the same as what his says. So. Uh, yeah, we'll give that a bash, see what power it's doing, put 10 shots through it. And then uh, after that, shoot it and see how good or bad it shoots. So we're getting there, slowly we're getting there. But as I say, as far as the varnish goes, I'll rub that down, get some true oil, and then do a before and after. And hopefully, well, there won't be any hopefully, I think if you just rub the, the gun down and didn't bother varnishing it, it would look 10 times better. So we'll go from there. Let's have a shot with this gun, see if it shoots, see what power it does. Oh, that felt a bit grovelly, that spring did. Didn't feel good. First pellet, you can't see the screen because it's gone out, but I will shout out what it is if it works. Hopefully I won't uh, shatter my, one of my lenses and my glasses on this, because I'm shooting at close range into a box. Here we go. Safety on. Safety off. Here we go, first shot. Four four seven point eight. Right. It's a bit uh, rough that spring is when you cock it. Got a bit of a gritty feeling. Right, shot number two. Four four three point four. Let's hope it works out to be more powerful than the uh, than that SMK I had. What went back to the shop after only about ten weeks? That went down to nine foot pounds after about mm, three hundred and fifty shots through it over a ten week period. Right, shot number three. Here we go. 429.7. It's going down, isn't it? A little bit. Right. Yeah. Horrible gritty noise. Shot number four. Safety off. Would help. 423.6 <laughs> seems to be going down. Started on the first shot was 447, the last one was 423. It's gradually going down each shot so far. About 180 quid these guns, apparently. When they're brand new, I don't know if you can still buy it, but if it's discontinued it, but there it goes. Safety off. Last shot. 433.2. So let's work out what the spread is. Let's work out what the foot pounds is. And uh, we'll continue the video. So what do we think? Well, 6.2 foot pounds on average. And the first time I cocked the gun, it felt all gravelly, springy, gravelly, sort of horrible. So not a problem. It's another video. So my next video will be actually shooting the gun. I don't think at that sort of power that I'll be shooting at any great distance. I'll probably start at 15, 16 yards in my garden. I won't bother going to my daughter's. Um, I wouldn't want to shoot this at 30 yards plus. It's not got enough power. So basically the gun's doing half the power that it should be. 12 foot pounds or just under. And it's actually doing... Uh, I can't remember where the figures are, I've wrote them down somewhere, but I think he's doing about, I don't know, 6.4, just under, or around 6.5 foot-pounds. 
so uh, yeah not too clever so I'll have a, another video of this gun shooting the gun probably at my garden which is only about 16 yards and then um, following that I will take the action out of the stock start rubbing the stock down and then I'll inquire at what the cost of a new spring is on roughly speaking it's about 20 quid I don't know how easy it is to put in one of these guns that could be another video just to show how you fit a, um, a new spring in one of these guns and then get it up to uh, power as it were or somewhere near a respectable power and then once I can get an half decent spring in it and possibly seals or what have you I don't know till I take the gun to pieces what it actually requires but uh, it won't cost that much and it's definitely worth doing so um, so I'm not disappointed because I got the gun for a very cheap price so I'm not complaining and um, yeah so the next video will be shooting I'll do that video tomorrow in the garden if it's not raining hopefully it won't be we're on a spell of uh, now it's the first of june yesterday and the day before was quite lovely weather considering what may's been so uh not even any wind today either but uh, i'll have a i'll have a few shots in the garden with it and then uh, the next video after that i'll i'll take it i'll take the action out of the stock and start rubbing the stock down and get some true oil start working on that and then uh then taking the gun to pieces and acquiring a spring and seals or whatever else it needs and then uh, another video after that when it's all put back together and looking good so the next video will be shooting this gun see how can well it's fairly consistent in its power even though it's not doing much but uh, so thanks for watching so far please leave any comments underneath thumbs up possibly or a thumbs down from a normal person every week who gives me a thumbs down it means you're subscribed to my channel and you must be watching something in my videos but uh so yeah take care everybody thanks for watching any comments good or bad more than welcome take care